Welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today, I want to discuss AMC Entertainment stock. Uh, many of you have asked me to do an update on this, and I'm going to share with you about my download that I received concerning AMC stock and Lucasfilm. But we'll get into that here in just a few moments. Now, currently, AMC stock is sitting at $7.70. Recently, it went through a reverse split, and AMC stock had reached about $13.64, so it shed almost around $5 uh, since the reverse split. As many of you should already know in my last videos about AMC, that I didn't agree with the reverse split. And the number one reason why is because in every reverse split, 99.9% .9 of the time, it doesn't go in the way that everybody thinks it's going to go. Also, there was some dilution, and so that's why the price is where it's at right now. And so when you look at the movie-going industry as a whole, and you see where things are going, like with inflation, you know, and you would still think that people don't want to go out, and they do. People still want to go out on dates, and what's the number one place where people go out on dates? You know, besides a restaurant, well, which would be the movies. At least I would think so anyway. So, but what AMC really needs right now is some really good content in their movie theaters. And I know they're doing different things to try to bring in money. One of the things that has been, you know, relatively missing over the last several years is that Lucasfilm hasn't put out any Star Wars movies. Disney actually owns Lucasfilm. And many of you know how I feel about Disney. And just even thinking about it, gives me the shivers but this is about amc and lucasfilm before i forget there are rumors of disney actually selling lucasfilm which would probably be the best thing for lucasfilm so this was the download that i received this is a tweet that i just posted a few minutes ago the link will be down below in the description to this tweet i say here this should be a consideration ceo adam john ferrero Dave Filoni for AMC Theaters and Lucasfilm, who have about nine director cuts DC, that's what will shorten director cut for DC, movies they could release in the theaters over the next two years starting in December. This could bring in needed billions for both companies and help revitalize the movie industry. Each season could be a DC movie. Andor, Boba Fett, Obi-Wan have one director's cut movie. The Mandalorian, which has three seasons, would be three director cut movies, and The Bad Batch would be two. The Ahsoka uh, first season is actually almost finished. I say, who doesn't want to see the director's cut? If they actually take each series and crunch it down to a two and a half to three hour director's cut movie, and they do that for each one of their seasons, you have nine movies. Right? Andor, Boba Fett, and Obi Wan Kenobi. They all have one director's cut movie. Mandalorian has three seasons, so you would have three movies. And The Bad Batch has two seasons, so you would have two movies. The Ahsoka series is just finishing up. So that would be a director's cut that would maybe come out, you know, maybe at the end of 2024 or into 2025. Now, when you look at the movie industry as a whole and the ticket sales for Star Wars just in general and you adjust it for inflation, a lot of these movies they put out back in the early 2000s or even back in the 70s, you know, would have equaled in the hundreds upon hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars in today's time. Uh, just as one example, Star Wars Attack of the Clones brought in 300 million. Adjusted for inflation from back in two, 2002, uh, that's close to a billion dollars. And so there's definitely a lot of money to be made. And these are already done. That's the whole point, is that the seasons have already been filmed. They've already been shown. So you're making money off something that's already created. And a lot of probably Star Wars fans would go out to see these director cuts. They would probably add in some deleted scenes that weren't shown in the series. I went out to lunch, and there's this guy wearing a Star Wars hat, and he was you know, taking my order, and I just asked him a couple questions, you know, if he's, if he does watch any of the new series, he said, I, he just doesn't have time, and so that's one of the things, is that they don't want to sign up for a monthly service, you know, and they don't always have the time to watch, you know, eight to 12 episodes of each one of these series, and this could be a trend. If they do this, then you're going to see other 
companies like maybe Amazon or Netflix, they might take their series and shorten them to like a director's cut movie. And even if you brought in $200 million per film on average, you know, you're looking at several billion dollars from TV content that's already there. And it's just, it just doesn't help Star Wars, but also AMC and related industries. And not only that, you would make money off the DVDs, the digital downloads, maybe even more money from the toys. I know the toy industry is suffering right now. Really, really bad. Just in general, kids don't play with toys anymore. Right At five years old, they're playing with their phones. They could care less about you know, Ken or Barbie or G.I. Joe and so forth. So you guys tell me what you think about this. And thinking about it after I received the download is just common sense, especially with a series like Star Wars. So anyways, folks, I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.